Hello, I'm Eden Bennett from Eden Rocks Jewelry. I've been making and selling beaded jewelry for over 25 years, and today I'm going to show you a couple of simple beaded jewelry repairs. I'll also get into a little bit of the vernacular, so when you're shopping for findings and items for your repairs, you will know what to call it. So first off, this is my favorite tool. It's a round nose plier. I like a really pointy little edge, but it's not necessary. Then I have a bent nose plier. And I like the bent nose plier because if you're working here, you can see what you're doing because the nose hooks away from it. Lastly, I use cheap wire cutters. They're about $7. I replace mine every year because I like them really sharp and I keep the old ones because they're super useful all around the house. So every piece of jewelry that I've made for 25 years has been with these three tools. So um, often online you can find a kit uh, shouldn't be more than $25 for the three. Of course, if you're going to do it professionally, you probably want to get better made stuff, which would be more expensive. So here is an earring, and here is its brother. So sorry about the light. Here we go. Uh, so this earring... This crystal has fallen off and I'm going to show you how to fix it and this is a real good trick to know. So here's the bead that came off and if you see this little loop opened. So now the loop is intact, opening and closing the loop. This is the big trick. So open the loop this way. You're twisting your wrist. Close the loop this way. What happens is the loop stays in the right shape. So I'm going to open this loop. I'm going to pick up the broken earring. I'm going to find the piece of chain. Sorry about the fumbling, but filming is awkward. And I'm going to hook it in. Now, this is really hard to do because I'm looking at the monitor. I'm not looking at the piece. So let me just move my head. Okay. And there we go. Really isn't that hard. It's hard in the wind if you're at a craft show, but it's not hard. So now I'm going to twist my wrist, and there it is all fixed. If everyone who bought beaded jewelry knew that little trick, you could fix your own stuff. So here is an anklet that was sent back to me. This is a piece of tape because it broke. Again, this poor person had to ship it all the way back to me and wait for it when all that happened was this link detached itself from the chain. So same thing. I'm going to open that loop at a sideways angle. I'm going to slide the chain on the loop. You might need readers for this. I'm very nearsighted, so it's really easy for me to see stuff that's in my hand. I can't see, you know, something on my wall. And there it is, closed. Oops, sorry about the focus. So that's fixed. I will send it back to her today. Lastly, I'm going to show you an earring that came apart. So this is a little different, and here's where we get into a little bit of the words. This is a head pin. It has the head on it. This piece with two loops, one on each end, oops, focus, is an eye pin. You should never have to buy an eye pin. If you know how to make a loop, which I will show you in a second, 
You can make your own eye pins out of wire or out of your head pin. So I recommend having head pins that are longer than you need. This is glue on my finger. So I'm going to fix this earring. I'm holding my head pin. The head pin anchors down the bead. So I'm taking the old head pin out. Head pins don't usually break, so this would be a really unusual repair. And I'm just sliding that bead onto the head pin. And now the next bead, this is called a rondelle. And if you're into beading, better stock up now because there's a rumor that Swarovski is not making beads. So that's a gold filled bead. And then here's a crystal. The shape is called a bicone. And now we're going to learn how to make the loop. So I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to tip that back and then I'm going to roll it towards me. And there's my loop. Now, 25 years of loop making. Your first loop is not going to come out like that. So don't be frustrated. If you have a longer head pin and you need to make an eye pin, you simply cut off the head and make loops on each end. So now I'm going to open this and I'm going to put it onto a lever back, which is how it came or how it was originally made. Focus, please. And I'm going to, again, twist my wrist and put it, so now it's secured on the lever back. And here we have a pair of earrings, all fixed. So loop making, practice, practice, practice. Lastly, I've taken a spool of chain and this end is called a chain tag. I'm gonna take off the chain tag and put it on. So often, the repairs that are sent me are a chain tag has come off, a clasp has opened. So we're pretending now. I'm going to detach it. So this is a jump ring. And I'm opening it, pretend that it had come off. And I'm going to put it back on the chain. And I'm going to now take my needle nose pliers. And now I can see what I'm doing because the pliers face towards me. I'm going to turn the loop back to me. And now I'm just going to smooth it out like that. And I'm going to feel it with my finger. And I know that it's in the right shape. So if you are unfamiliar with putting jump rings back together, feeling it, is a really good guide. Um, last, well, lastly, again, I'll show you a spring ring. So another repair I get often is an anklet with this detached. I use a spring ring with an open loop. So when I get the broken anklet or broken necklace, whatever has the spring ring clasp, I just twist it. And that concludes.